David Strasser is a retail analyst for Janet Montgomery. Scott, and he uh, joins us here in studio. I was reading your note this morning. It's one of the first I read when I woke up, and it scared me. I'm not going to lie. You came, and for the consumer sector stocks that you follow, you, you pretty much said expect not a very bright outlook for the second half of the year. Uh, um, well, we, yeah, when we were looking through all our models and trying to look at the back half of the year, it just seemed that the expectations are too high. Um, everyone's expecting a pretty big acceleration into the back half of the year, particularly around the fourth quarter for the holiday. And there's a lot of the leading indicators right now just don't get us excited that that's going to happen. So um, as we were kind of going through our numbers, particularly around housing, some of the recent data points on housing were very scary. Yesterday, you're referring right. to, I mean, was this a direct reaction to that new it, home sales plunge? It was not a direct. First of all, existing home sales would be probably a bigger issue, which was a, a worse number as well right. earlier in the week. So it's, it's partially that. Um, we've been monitoring consumer credit for a long time, and that continues to be somewhat scary. Unemployment, obviously, is a headline number that everybody knows. And that's like the key one for the consumer. It is. And, and, you know, confidence has been getting a little bit better, but that's very fickle. So your confidence, however, you're, you're, you're putting into some of the, basically, the, the recession playbook stocks, the Walmarts of the world. Uh, yeah, you know, you go back and we looked at, like, you know, just using 2008 as an example, and that's where Walmart really performed well relative to everything else. It hasn't, you know, up until then and subsequent to that, it was it was tough. But, you know, people wanted defense and they went there. Mm -hmm. um, not as much of the housing exposure that you see in, you know, a lot of other names, obviously. Now, you point out that higher inventory are concerning you at Lowe's and at Best Buy right now? Um, more, more at Lowe's. I think the Best Buy will turn a little bit faster, but you know, you're seeing inventories and you're talking to companies, you're getting a sense that people are getting a little bit more optimistic at the companies and they're adding a little bit more inventory for the back half of the year. And we'll follow that throughout the summer as we, you know, as it relates to, um, you know, to to uh, the holiday. Um, you know, the real big test will be back to school. June and right. July doesn't give you a great read on what consumer spending is all about, and it's really back to school, you know, August and September that will get the next real big read. Right, because people are going to have to go out and buy something right. to go back to exactly. school. Now, in terms of places that are safe to park your money, besides Walmart, you think McDonald's is a place to be? Yeah, Mark Kalinowski, our restaurant analyst, you know, he did a lot of work on that. And it's very similar to, you know, the Walmart, the Walmart scenario and going back to 2008, the safety. And they've had, you know, pretty good performance, you know, th even throughout, you know, during the downturn and, and recently as well. So that was the name he highlighted as, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, in your uh, note out this morning, it starts off comparing <laughs> bread lines during the, the Great Depression with lines at the checkout counter at Walmart. It, it's obviously an image that sears, sears into the memory there. It's a little bit of a scary one, though. I mean, I mean we were trying to, over, you know, overemphasize a point here and just trying, you know, trying to make the true comparison is probably a little bit aggressive. But we were just, you know, just trying to say that there is, you know, that, that, that things that have you know, there's an opportunity here for things to get to get tough again. I mean, we saw that, you know, once again, we look at always at, at the past and you see some of the history of the way the stocks moved in the 30s, not making that call specifically. But, you know, you just kind of keep that in the back of your mind that, you know, that, you know, these some of these maybe we haven't fixed everything here. And maybe, you know, there seems to be a lot of desire to take spending stimulus out of the economy potentially from a you know government standpoint mm -hmm. that wouldn't be good taxes are probably going up next year that's not going to you know that's not good either so there's some things that actually could be anti-stimulative going into the back half or into 2011 and consumer matters to yeah. the broader economic really story 70% really of activity thank you david oh, pleasure. for coming in.